Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beer Draft. It's still stout season, so what's the next thing we're going to review today, Mike? We've got this milk stout here from Left Hand Brewing Company. Right. Left Hand. Good yes, stuff. and we've reviewed their hardwired nitro. Make sure to check out that video. But this is kind of their flagship beer right here, the milk right. stout. Nice. So, Left Hand Brewing, they're in Longmont, Colorado. This milk stout here is, the style is a sweet stout. So the sweetness is actually coming from the fact that they're using lactose sugar, milk sugar, uh, in the beer. Nice. Kind of feeding the yeast in there. 6% uh, ABV, only 25 IBU. So it's a stout. You wouldn't expect it to be too bitter there. So this will be uh, quite a change from the breakfast stouts that we yes. just reviewed. Yes. This one's going to be a lot smoother. Um, Still going to have a nice bold flavor to it, but not so overwhelming like we saw right. with some of the other stouts. So let's right. take a look. Should be a nice black color there. Yep. We definitely are seeing the black color. Um, kind of got a lighter head than some of the other stouts that we've seen. Yep, not as tan as some of the previous ones. As far as the smell in here, we should be getting some caramel, some toasted notes, coffee, chocolate. Definitely smells a lot sweeter than... Uh an imperial stout or a breakfast stout. Yeah, I think that's coming from that lactose. So let's go right. ahead and uh, take, a, take a taste. Mm. Very smooth. Smooth, pretty carbonated. Definitely sweet. Yeah, it's got like a, a almost a thinness to the body. It's a little thinner than the breakfast stouts, but it's really good. I, I think I like the, uh, the smoothness and the sweetness, mm -hmm. it's just a really good balance to it. Yeah, so uh, some of the malts that were used in this um, are kind of not typical of what you might see in, um, I'm sorry, some of the hops used in this are not typical of what you might see in a stout. Oh yeah? So we've got uh, the Goldings hops, which are normally used in a pale ale. Hmm. So I think that might be adding just a, a, a lighter flavor to it. You, know, you oh, think about be. your pale ales, they've got a much lighter, thinner flavor to mm -hmm. it. Um, but it's definitely good. It's very drinkable, I think, is uh, what's yeah, great about it. You know, low enough ABV, they can have a couple of these and not feel too bad. Yeah, especially some stouts, the heavier stouts, if you have more than one of them, it starts to just feel too much. The, the, the beer itself is just too big to have more than one in a row. Yeah. And I think what I like this over, you know, a, a standard stout um, is the fact of the lactose. I think that adds a bit more of a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of got that creamier right. uh, feel to it in the mouth. Um, it's a great beer. I, I really like it. I'm a huge fan of Left Hand. Like yes. Their whole Nitro series is out of this world, man. That Dumping the bottle upside down and pouring <laughs> And like they that. do make the Milk Stout in a Nitro. Yeah, that's right. So we may have to check that one out later. Absolutely. Well, if you've had this beer, make sure you let us know about it in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And also hit subscribe so you can see our other reviews, including if we do the nitro version of the Milk Stout. All right. Until next time, we'll see you later. All right, see ya.